Hello. In this video, I'm going to be going over some cybersecurity home lab and projects that you can start if you are wanting to get into cybersecurity and looking for ideas. So what exactly is a project and why even have a home lab? Well, a project is essentially anything that you do and you document. So it could be creating user accounts and active directory to creating an entire pen testing lab, which you're doing who knows what. And having a home lab is beneficial because you get to play around and make mistakes without it being in say a production environment where you could cause huge issues. And according to Sands, as you can see in this article, he states, I want an employee who has built it from the ground up through all of the frustrations. No one looks for an employee who knows how to click a deploy button. Essentially the ideas that you are learning, but it also will cause a lot of frustrations, but you learn through those frustrations and it gives you talking points, say during a technical interview. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about helping you upskill and land a job in technology. So go ahead and smash that like button and to thank you, here's a picture of Samson, my main coon cat. Also, all of the links to all of these home labs will be below. The first lab that I'm going to talk about is the AWS Security Focused Labs. This will definitely help you familiarize yourself with security if that's what you're going to want. It'll be going over identity access management, network and infrastructure security, GRC, data protection and privacy, and threat detection and incident response. Go ahead and check that out. The second home lab and product ideas that I have for cybersecurity is Coursera. I do have a course list below, but essentially they have a ton of project centered courses by experts that walk you through step-by-step -step on exactly what to do and how to do it. I think these are really beginner friendly for anyone wanting to get into cybersecurity. Some really good projects include how to read a PCAP in Linux basics, along with deploying a web app, a lot of good things. So go check that out. The next home lab that I think would be great for you to know about is Blue Team's lab on GitHub. It goes over DevSecOps, open source and free resources, web application firewalls, window services and exactly what they're used for, threat intelligence and some really good threat intelligence tools, network discovery and vulnerability management tools, really good to know, virtualization and container tools, DevSecOps tools such as Terraform and Ansible, OS and Linux, distros, really good one to check out if you're wanting to go into the blue team. The next project on this list and probably the f my favorite of all of them is the Digital Forensics Lab. Essentially teaches you everything you need to know about digital forensics, including about iOS devices, jailbreaking, email, how to respond to different use cases, a forensic intelligent repository. And the program is by University of Baltimore, but I guess it's also on this GitHub. It'll also teach you basic computer skills in forensics, such as a PC tutorial, Windows command line tutorial, case studies, IOT, forensic intelligence repository. Great place to start. The next one on my list is developing cybersecurity programs and policies by Omar Santos. Um, now this one, doesn't seem exciting or fun, but policies and procedures are like the backbone of cybersecurity. And without GRC, there really wouldn't be any cybersecurity. So if you're wanting to go into management or become an information security officer or become a chief information security officer, going through this book and creating your own policies and your own programs really will give you a really good broad overview of how things work. This is established cybersecurity policies and governance that serve your organization's needs. You'll be working with HR to address the human factors of cybersecurity. You'll be managing assets and preventing data loss, plan for quick, effective incident response and ensure business continuity. Great place to go. My next cybersecurity home lab is the one by the Ultimate Kali Linux book. Now, this one is, you want to work on a red team or penetration tester. It teaches you essentially the basics that you could ever want to know. Metasploit, Nmap, air cracking, and all of that fun sort. It goes through how you can compromise different networks with Kali Linux, and it also has hands-on labs. I personally love books because they're so like well thought out usually. My next cybersecurity lab is the Microsoft Defender in Cloud. Now this one is interested if you're interested in cloud security because it's essentially just the basics of 
Azure Defender for cloud. So preparing your environment, you'll be going through Microsoft security policies, regulatory compliance, improving your security posture. And this home lab will prepare you for if you want to become a SOC analyst or a junior cloud security engineer working on Azure. My next hands-on lab is for people who want to get into application security, and that is WebGoat. So web application and vulnerabilities are really hard to learn and practice because not many people have a full blown web application at their home. And you also, you shouldn't attempt to find vulnerabilities without permission. So that is why this web goat has been deployed for people to use it and learn more about the OWASP top 10. If you don't know what the OWASP top 10 is, strongly suggest Googling it really important stuff. And some things you'll, you'll be explaining the vulnerability that you're finding. And at the end of the lesson, you will receive an overview of possible mitigations, which help you with your development work. Now, this is more if you want to go on the developer side. However, if you want to do blue team, there are jobs that deal with web application vulnerabilities, such as a web application firewall engineer. Or if you want to work with like layer seven, there are blue team jobs on this that don't require you to be a developer. It's also just really good knowledge to know about. And if you want to become a pen tester, you're gonna to need to know about these vulnerabilities and a little bit of code. The next cybersecurity project I have is Hack the Box. It's essentially, if you want to become a penetration tester, this is where you would go. It's essentially a massive hacking playground that walks you through various exercises. My last and final one is to create your own home lab. So depending on what job within cybersecurity and the technology field that you want to go into will dictate the type of lab that you want. And a really good way to find these labs is just search what you want and then put like GitHub lab or something of that sort. And even though if you go through it, you may not know exactly what you're doing, it will give you more context and familiarization with what you're doing. Also, there are tons of different books on how to build your own lab from scratch. I'll leave a link of some of them below in the description. And yeah, if you liked this video, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe, and check out my whole other playlist on how to land a job in cybersecurity. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.